In this video, I will explain you about loading the bootstrap web page from ESP8266 port and the web socket communication between ESP8266 and web, web client. This is, this is the D1 mini board and uh, this is one of the small form factor board you could get for ESP8266 um, within built programmer. So you can see here we have connected the DH11 temperature and humidity sensor to the port D0 and the supply is given here. This is 3.3 3 volt and the, here you have ground. So this is connected to that D1 port. You can see this here. And we have some two LEDs for uh, just to understand the circuit communication. Okay, now let's connect and uh, program it. Let's build and upload. Let me explain you the source code. Uh, here uh, you are, we are using four LEDs and they are connected to D5, D6, D7, D8. And um, DHT pin is, uh, that is the sensor pin where it is, it is connected to D1. And put your uh, SSID here and your password also here, Wi-Fi password here. And if you want to change the upcycle port, you can change it here. And this is the routine which handles the file upload and this routine handles file listing and this routine is used to delete any files from your uh, SPI file system and this this is to format your SPI file system this removes all the files in that SPI file system and here is the event handler this handles your uh, uh, LED messages. This this handles the receive event. It's based on the, and you can see the WebSocket message here. This is the message. So based on the status, it changes. It it turns on or off the LEDs. And the LED one is configured as analog value, so you could change the intensity. And this is where the uh, bootstrap files are loaded. And here we have the route list. So, list first is list, this list, then uh, uh, total files which are uploaded in the file system and this handles the upload event and this this is to delete the single file and format is to sell it, delete the, delete all files and here you have the uh, two second routine this uh, sends uh, the uh, temperature and humidity value to the web client so that's all about the code and this is the uh, temperature and humidity format okay now let's upload the uh, files and before that we need to find out the IP address so IP address can be found here. Just unplug it and plug it. Mm. 
now ESP8266 is connecting to the router and you can find out that IP address is uh, 1.5 Now let's uh, upload our files. Okay, now you can take. You can see that the file is uploaded. Okay, I'll, I'll just upload the remaining files using the same method. Now let's open the file. Now you can see the Now you can see the first LED is this, this LED is the first one. Okay, this is uh, we can control the intensity of that LED. Okay, this is LED two. You can make it on or off. And here you can see the temperature reading, the present current temperature reading here, and humidity here. And uh, if you want to change the color of this, you can change by selecting the color of your choice. And if you want to switch it to Fahrenheit, you can select here and it will be, the reading will be in Fahrenheit. So you can see 